Today I'm going to talk about Himatu Poesis. Himatu Poesis is formation and production of blood cells. And this Himatu Poesis it takes place in your sac by the third week of gestation and by the third month of gestation stem cells migrate to the liver and then by the fourth month it takes place within the bone marrow and at birth it takes place at the bone marrow and all blood cells, they come from a single cell known as pluripotent stem cell. Pluri means multiple. That means a single cell has a capacity to differentiate into multiple cells. So, the pluripotent stem cell differentiate into or diverge into common myeloid stem cells and common lymphoid stem cells. The common myeloid stem cell further differentiate into thrombo into bro meg mega karyoplast and bro erythroplast and myeloplast. So the mega karyoplast further develop or differentiate into bro mega Karyoplast is the presence of a cytokine known as thrombopyotin. So, this is the mega karyocyte now, which further differentiate into A or non nucleated cells known as platelets. And this is controlled by thrombo biotin or TBO and interleukin number three. Also common myeloid stem cell differentiate and gives uh, and give uh, bro erythroplast which further uh, differentiate into uh, erythrocytes in the presence of cytokines known as erythropyotin and interleukin number three. And further, these common myeloid stem cells differentiate into myeloplast and this myeloplast further differentiate and develop into uh, monocytes. These are the monocytes, basophils, neutrophils, and eosinophils. However, dendritic cells and mast cell they come from committed progenitors within the bone marrow. And, for example, the dendritic cell, they come from monocyte dendritic progenitor. Then, they divert, diverge 
into monocyte and committed dendritic progenitor, progenitor cells and this give rise to dendritic cells give rise to dendritic cells however uh, dendritic cells are present in several places for example skin for example uh, in secondary lymphoid tissues or in primary lymphoid uh, tissues mast cells these they come from mast cell committed progenitors within the bone marrow and the interplot as a, in, in immature immature form in contrast to other cells that they when they interplot they are mature this is inside uh, the plot and interact with the uh, endothelial cells then they migrate to the tissues and as you know mast cell they express receptors specific for IgE antibodies so in allergic individuals if these antibodies bound to the receptors known as FC epsilon epsilon means E FC epsilon R1 that means receptors specific for IgE antibody so when they sit here and if they are they get cross-linked by antigens this will lead to activation of the mast cell and liberation of primary and secondary mediators also the pluripotent stem cell diverge or differentiate into common lymphoid stem cells and they further differentiated into three types of cells NK cell, B cell and T cells and actually this requires or controlled by cytokine for example interleukin number two it is very crucial for T cell proliferation interleukin number six it is crucial for B cell differentiation interleukin number seven it is important for T cell induction and detachment of the B cells from the bone marrow and as can be seen here this is the B cell they express service molecules or two types of antibodies IgD and membrane bound IgM so the precursor of this B cell first rearrange the light chain of the membrane bound antibody then the progenitor B cell interact with the stroma cell this is the stroma cell of the bone marrow and this interaction between progenitor B cell and the stromal cell through this adhesion molecules is very crucial for growth and development of uh, B cell then B cell or B cells detach from the stromal cell and here interleukin number seven or the presence of interleukin number seven is very is very important for the deta detachment of uh, this bro or immature B cell from the stroma cell. However, deficiency of this IL-7 may lead to immunodeficiency with the absence of B lymphocytes in the periphery and with the